you probably already know that the SP32 is faster than an Arduino. But how faster is it really? We're not going to look at some benchmark with a score at the end, it's boring. We're going to see how fast it is to calculate 5,000 digits of the pi constant and how fast it is to animate objects on a small OLED display like this one. The Arduino Nano is ready to start the pi digits calculation. The number you see in the center is the number of pi digits so far calculated. Each time 4 pi digits has been calculated, a small circle is shown. The color of the circle corresponds to the four digits converted to a color code. So you are actually seeing the pi digits colors. The time needed between each digit calculation is increasing exponentially. So it's slowing down as we progress in the calculation. It will be far too long to wait until the 5000 digits has been calculated. I let it run off camera. And the Arduino Nano needed 3 hours, 24 minutes, and 9 seconds to complete the 5000 digits of the pi constant. The ESP32 is now ready to crunch pi digits numbers. And we can see from the start that the rate of calculation is much higher than the Arduino. The colored circle displayed for each 4 digits calculated are also showing at a much higher rate. We are fast approaching the 1000 digits calculated. And since the ESP32 is going so well, we can fast forward to the end of the calculation. The ESP32 was able to calculate 5000 digits of the pi constant in 10 minutes and 41 seconds. So without surprise, we see that the ESP32 is much faster than the Arduino. But we now know how much powerful it is for task intensive computations. Next, we're going to do the animation test. First, with the Arduino. All the objects you see on the display are drawn by functions doing mathematical calculations. So there is no bitmap images since we want to test the computation aspect and not the data transfer. There are several little animations on the display but we barely can see them because everything is slow. There's an arc moving along the large blue circle and you can see it being drawn. There's pulses coming from the center of the display and moving slowly to the edges. And you can see small objects blinking randomly. Now let's look at the ESP32 animation test. From the start, you can see that everything is showing much faster. The arc is moving much more smoothly along the large blue circle. The pulses coming from the center of the screen are also smoother. And the objects are blinking perfectly as we don't see any of them being redrawn. And here is a side-by-side -side comparison of how the ESP32 performed compared to the Arduino. For the Pi calculation and the animation test, I use the same program for the Arduino and the ESP32. The link is in the video description. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.